Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I know I've been away from YouTube for longer than anyone could possibly tolerate, but guess where I've been? New York City, the city that never sleeps, tots. That's right, New York. Well, I haven't actually been in New York the whole time I've been away from YouTube. Actually, just the last five days. But that's my excuse anyway, and it was brilliant, you know. I'd recommend it to anyone out there. It was just fantastic. And as you could probably imagine, that's what today's fact is going to be all about. At this moment in time, there are 13,087 yellow cabs operating in New York City, and they're all actually owned by one firm, the New York City Department of Transportation, and it's actually a billion dollar industry. Now when I was out there, I took quite a few yellow cabs myself, and they are very efficient. One thing I did notice though, is that when they stop, unlike normal drivers when they just stop, taxi drivers have to stop, honk their horns, and then start shouting. And I don't honestly know why they do it. I mean, it's not like they have to do it, is it? It's not mandatory. Get off the road, you douchebag! What are you, some kind of asshole? You douchebag! Get off the road, you maniac! Oh, it's green. One place where a cab took us was to the Yankee Stadium, and we saw a baseball game out there. And that was really good. Although, a word of warning, if you are going to go and watch a game of baseball, pay attention. Oh, you recognise me off YouTube, do you? Well, I'm not surprised I'm regarded as one of the funniest comedians at And of course, we've done all the main attractions while we was out there as well, like the Empire State Building, the Rockefeller Center, Central Park, and of course, the Statue of Liberty. Now, an interesting fact about the Statue of Liberty, you know, while we're hearing that, is that the seven points on her crown actually represent the seven continents of the world, and she's meant to be expressing freedom and liberty throughout the entire globe. At least that's what you're meant to think when you see it anyway. All I thought when I saw it is that she must get arm ache every once in a while. At least that's what I originally thought. But when I saw her arms, they're actually quite muscly. And her face is quite sort of chiselled as well. Her jawline, very masculine. And her general body is pretty tonk. Which led me to the conclusion that she's more than likely a transvestite. Now it's widely acknowledged that English and Americans speak the same language. Ha! <laughs> no they don't. Hi there, what can I get you? Hi there, can I get a water please? Pardon me? Um, a water? Excuse me? A water. A Mr. Pibb? No, a water. A Dr. Pepper? No, water. Cadbury's Dairy Milk? What? You don't even sell that in this country. No, water, you know, water, as in H2O, vapor, aqua, you know, water. Oh, a water! Why didn't you say, man? Water! We also had the brilliant idea of visiting Staten Island for a little while. Now, here's a great tip when you're there. Get the fuck out of there. Oh, hello there, young sir. Hi there. You'll have to excuse me. I'm British, you see, and I'm not too familiar with the area. Um, could you tell me where the local... Apart from that, I had a really great time, you know, I will not forget that holiday in a hurry. And originally, I was going to make a video as soon as I landed back in England, but it quickly became quite apparent to me that I was suffering from jet lag. Today's Fact of the Day is sponsored 